What's going on guys? Finally back with another video. Gonna be doing the front end maintenance on the Tundra today. Just swapping out struts and the lower ball joints. I don't have the top ball joints ordered yet, but honestly, I was thinking about doing the whole upper control arm with the ball joint built in. I believe it was uh, Freedom Off-Road, I think, carried that. So I may look into that before just buying OEM ball joints. Heard some good things about them, but you really gotta watch. I uh, had a set of Moog control arms on a different Tundra at one point, and they were actually cracking and splitting, and the ball joints were failing. So you definitely have to watch what you put on these trucks. But uh, I've heard some good things in the forums about Freedom Off-Road. As you can see, I already got this side done. I didn't film that just because I didn't want to bore anybody, but I'll get the other side filmed. I did the lower ball joint as well. In the process of putting this bolt in the bottom of the strut, I actually ended up tearing the TV boot, so I couldn't end up putting a new axle on that, or this side, I should say. So, I'm not looking forward to that, but I don't think it'll be too bad. I've done a couple before. But yeah, I'll get started by taking this tire off and get it jacked up and put it on the stand. Have a little bit more room to work. And I also, another thing I wanted to point out is these top strut nuts were rusted to the point where they either had to be cut or the nut has to be broke. I tried everything on the other side for a while. I was trying to heat it up, tap different size wrenches onto it. Nothing was working. Everything was just rounding off because they're so rusty. And the back's really hard to get to to cut. So what I ended up doing is drilling into it enough to crack the nut and tap it off. And that seems to be the best way to get the back nut off. If anybody's looking for a tip on that, because I'm sure people experience that a lot. Um, but the fronts are a little easier to cut off with like Sawzall, a grinder maybe. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that tip out for the back. I know. There's not very much room to work, I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. So next, I think I'm gonna just start with the top nuts. That's the hardest of everything. Then once the strut's out, I'll start unhooking everything that's connected to the lower ball joint, the tie rod, and uh, I'll actually end up putting the strut in first and then do the ball joint so I can move this whole assembly around so the CV axle is not in the way of the bolt and then you know, hopefully this time installing the bolt, I won't be tearing up the CV axle because they're both very, very close to each other. And the collar on this bolt, hopefully you can see that, is what ended up pinching the boot when I installed the other one. I was doing it by myself. That was the main issue and getting the bolt in with all the pressure you have to compress the strut a little bit to be able to get the bolt in so it's kind of hard but i was using a crowbar up here to kind of compress it bring it up so the holes would line up but yeah enough for the rambling i'll uh, get to cutting and drilling these nuts out everybody what I meant when I said drill them out I probably would have just cut these ones out but I wanted to show you guys kind of what I was doing this probably is gonna need a little more drilling but I'll take a flathead and tap it up against the side to uh, get the nut kind of broke free either I could spin it off or if I drill out the sides wide enough I should just be able to tap the whole thing off the stud now obviously this is going to destroy your studs but if you have brand new strut assembly you won't have to worry about that so this is the first nut that I got off sat in here Obviously, I drilled it out and basically just took the screwdriver and was getting in between the threads and the nut itself. And I was able to just spin it a little bit. Once you turn it enough with the screwdriver and hammer, you'll basically just get it to pop off if your gap's big enough. And yeah, now I just got to finish doing that to the last two. And then we'll take our 19 mil off at the bottom. This thing will be ready to come out. All right, so as you can see, I got the strut out. Back nut was definitely giving me some trouble, but... What can you do when you have no space? But uh, right now I'm just kind of prepping the surface all around the strut. Why are we on? I'm gonna rush treat it and get this all painted up before we uh, do the ball joint and put the strut back in. All 
right, so I got the lower bowl joint out. Forgot to record it, but uh, people may run into a little trouble getting these out. Get the lower part out. I was just banging with a hammer right where I have the camera at now. Eventually, it'll just pop out. Same thing goes with the tie rod. Just uh, get it right there, and I believe it's called peening it out. I got everything painted. Needs a couple of touch-ups. I'll do that here in a second, but I'm getting ready to install the strut. Now that the bowl joint's out, I can move this away from the mounting spot. It'll make run the bolt in a little easier. All right, the struts in. Got the bottom bolt through the mount. That's gonna be the hardest part about this is compressing the spring enough. With stock stuff, should be a little easier to get this mounted up, but you definitely need two people for the lifted strut. And uh, yeah, now I can go ahead and install the new ball joint, get everything torqued to spec. And uh, the shop that actually built my struts didn't put the top bushing on. You can't notice the play right now, but once I drop this truck down and everything's compressed, that nut, goes up and there's a big gap so i have to go back to the shop and uh grab the bushings from there when they're open and i'll be able to put the bushings on and we'll be done with the front end for now all the hardware is torqued back to spec gotta throw the wheel on and she'll be ready all right everything's all buttoned up got my tools cleaned up putting everything in the wheelbarrow makes it so much easier to clean up when you're not working in your garage but uh yeah got everything painted up still some other spots on the frame i need to clean up brush treat and paint but for now i think uh I think we're good. I just need to order up a CV axle and put that in. I'll be good to go. I'll show you guys the bushing problem. As you can see, there's a gap there. So I'll go get those bushings tomorrow morning, drop them in, and I'll be able to drive it. But obviously, there's going to be grease flying everywhere. I'll probably just won't drive it till I get the CV axle or try and wrap it up so it doesn't sling grease everywhere. But it's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment what you want me to do next on the Tundra. Peace.